Hey, what's up guys? It is Rob from Movie Review Time. Welcome to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD update. Um, I just recently got some titles from Goodwill, Family Video, um, Salvation Army, <laughs> um, and Walmart. And some of these you've probably seen in another video that's no longer up. I thought I'd throw these uh, in this update just to make it a little bit bigger. A lot of these films I got really cheap. Um, some of these actually complete my collection as far as a series goes or comes close to that. Uh, a lot of these are brand new releases and some of them are actually my kids uh, favorite films. Some of my kids favorite films. And so I got them for them basically and I do like them as well. So let's start with the Blu-rays. Uh, the first one I got for $1.99 at Goodwill. And I always say I go to Goodwill once a week. Okay, sometimes I'll find some good stuff there. Sometimes I'll find absolutely nothing. Um, but I like to check once a week because when I do find something, it is awesome. So... <clears throat> This was awesome that I found this because I've been wanting this on Blu-ray. I have the DVD version. Um, and it's definitely, hands down, my favorite M. Night Shyamalan film. Unbreakable. I got this for $1.99. Uh, it says $4.99 up there. I'm not really sure where that's from. There's a price tag up there. I'm not really sure, <clears throat> you know someone who took it to Goodwill maybe paid that much for it in the beginning I don't know maybe it was 1499 because the uh, you know there could have been a one before the four there it's just scratched off I'm not sure but I got it for a dollar 99 so I couldn't pass up that deal uh, that's the first one the next one I got because I just seen the second movie in the theaters and I really liked it and my kids really love these movies and it's one that I didn't have in my collection. And it's the Blu-ray digital of The Incredibles. Like I said, I just saw the second one in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Um, even though I um, I think I like the first one better. But not by much. Um, I enjoyed the second movie. But the, the thing about this movie, it didn't come with a slipcover. I really do like slipcovers. Uh, maybe I'll actually, you know, try to get one from this one site that only sells slipcovers. But, yeah, here it is, The Incredibles. Uh, my kids love, love these movies. So, that's the next one. Uh, the next title is um, also a movie that my kids really like. Blu-ray DVD digital of Peter Rabbit. I thought this movie was good. Um, <clears throat> nothing really amazing about it. Uh, the visuals were fine. Um, but my my kids really like these kind of films. So, uh, you know, I basically got it for them. So, uh, yeah, that's the next one. with the It comes with a slip cover and stuff. I remember, I think I got this at um, Family Video um, for, like, I think it was like $7.99, something like that. So, Peter Rabbit. The next one was an unbelievable find. <clears throat> I got this for $2.99 at the Salvation Army, and when I got it, it was um, sealed. Uh, and, I mean, the inside, the actual case was sealed, and the slipcover was sealed. Um... For $2.99, and it is Finding Dory. Now, the thing is, I already own this film, but the one that I own doesn't have a slipcover, so I actually used this one to, you know, to replace it. So um, I actually have an extra copy of this that doesn't have a slipcover, but whatever. Um, I just I like slipcovers. You know, Disney. It's the same with, like I said, Incredibles. Um, I just, I don't know what it is with Disney. They, they just seem to be, like you go out to Walmart and they have a section of Disney films and Pixar films that, you know, half of them will have slipcovers and then the other half won't. Like Toy Story 3 has a slipcover, but when you look at Toy Story 1, it doesn't. 
so I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know if they just throw them away or just not care. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was a nice find. <clears throat> the next one I got at Walmart with this uh, really cool slip cover, and it was like $7.50, something like that. Robert De Niro, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci, Martin Scorsese, uh, or how do you say it? Scorsese. I can never get it right. Scorsese. Goodfellas. Uh, and what's what's cool about this one, it is the anniversary edition. And it's the all-new 1080p remaster from a 4K scan. That's what this one is. Which is really, really cool. It's got two commentaries, uh, cast and crew, cop and the crook. Um, this is an American classic. It really is. It's considered American classic. Um, <clears throat> I did not own this even on DVD. Um, I think I have on... Oh, yeah, I do. I have it on VHS. Um, but, yeah... I was really happy to get this on Blu-ray, especially for the price and this really cool slipcover and, you know, uh, the 4K scan, really awesome. So you really can't beat the price. I do like the cover as well. So good fellas. The next one came out last week and it is the Blu-ray DVD digital. Uh, it includes the alternate ending and theatrical version, but this is also the unrated cut. And it is The Strangers Pray at Night. I got this brand new from Walmart. Decent movie. Um, I probably prefer the first movie over this one, but it's it's a decent film. I really think they did a good job with it. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a review of it. So, um, so yeah, Strangers Pray at Night. The next one is the Blu-ray Digital and DVD of a movie that came out today, actually, Tuesday, and it is Pacific Rim Uprising. Uh, this is the second film to uh, Pacific Rim, which I really liked um, the first movie. Um, I, I actually liked it better than any of the Transformers films. And this one I have not seen yet, but the, the reason I got is because I really enjoyed the first movie, and <clears throat> I do like John Boyega. And from the trailers, it looked really, really cool, all the action and the actual effects. So uh, I do like getting movies in the series to complete the series, so I had to get this one. So Pacific, uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, I'm definitely going to be doing a review of that after I watch it. The last Blu-ray I got is the Collector's Edition Scream Factory release of George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. Now this is the, I believe this is the fourth film, because he did Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and then this one comes next. And out of the sequels after Day of the Dead, this is one of my favorites. This is actually underrated. It's not a perfect film by any means. There are things wrong with it, there are some slow parts, there are some dumb parts, but I do like the effects. I do like some of the characters. Dennis Hopper's in this. Simon Baker. You got uh, John Lugazamo. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's got a decent story. This has a bunch of features. 2K scan of the uh, inner negative. Um, it's got all new commentaries, theatrical version and unrated version. Of course, I switched the... Uh, inside cover because you can do that with Scream Factory stuff so there's the uh, Land of the Dead original cover there um, I do like I do like the slip cover as well the artwork <clears throat> you have the zombie the head zombie there who's always like rrr, rrr, like telling the other zombies what to do he's like a smart zombie or something like that you can use a gun I mean Bub could use a gun in Day of the Dead but um, anyway, Land of the Dead, you know, it's not as good as Night, Day, or Dawn, but I definitely enjoy it out of the sequels after that. So, Scream Factory, please. All right, guys, that does it for my Blu-rays.
Let's go over the DVDs really quick. The first one here is an IFC Midnight release, also a Scream Factory release. And I believe, um, I don't know if this came out in 2017. I think it was 2017. Um, and it's basically about <clears throat> camping in the woods, and there's this guy called the Hiker who is stalking these people. And I saw this trailer by watching The Midnight Man, which was just released not too long ago. And this trailer was on that movie, and it was a, a film by Sam Patton, and um, I don't really know any of these people that are in it. Desolation. Now, I thought this looked interesting. I have not seen it yet, but judging from the trailer, it looked really, really cool. So, um, I believe you can see this on Netflix as well, but I got this for four bucks at Family Video. So, I couldn't pass it up. Um, you know, hopefully they have a Blu-ray release of this, because it is, like I said, Scream Factory. So, I would like to upgrade to that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be reviewing this film as well after I see it, Desolation. Mm. Now, I've shown these before, uh, but I just wanted to put them in this uh, update. Now, I got this at Salvation Army for a buck, and it was sealed, never opened. It is the widescreen collection of... Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and this is the director's edition in this really thick um, you know case um, yeah great movie bunch of special features and it was never opened for a dollar so I was really happy to get that The next one completes my um, series of the Wrong Turn films. And when it comes to the Wrong Turn movies, I don't like three. Part three is probably my least favorite. And this would probably come right after that. Um, or right, at least right before it, I want to say. Because part three is probably the worst. This one comes before that, I would say. Um, and it is Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort. Of course, this was pulled off the shelves, and it was basically discontinued and scrapped after it was released. Um, and I, I don't really know, the, you know, I don't really know the extent of what happened, but, uh, yeah, I got this for basically a dollar at this uh, thrift shop. And, yeah. I had to get it to complete my collection. Like I said, I don't know why it says $4.99 up there. A lot of these say that. Some don't say anything, but some of these have prices. It's like someone took a bunch of films and just traded them in at this thrift 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 stop or thrift shop. Sorry, I can't even talk tonight. Unrated. Uh, wrong Turn 6 completes my Wrong Turn movie collection. The next one is a movie that I haven't seen. It says, you've never been stalked like this. It does don't have a price tag on it, but I got it for a dollar. Um, I think it was 2003 when this was released. And it is Scarecrow. Now, this is a horror flick, but this is not Night of the Scarecrow. This is just called Scarecrow. So I'm not really sure how this one is. If it's like, if it's a bad movie, whatever. Um, I've seen plenty of bad <clears throat> horror films, but I'm eager to check this one out. And, you know, the reason, you know, some of these were a dollar, some of them were less, um, but these next four, I got four for a dollar. Uh, these were in this one section where you could just pick any of these DVDs. You pick four of them for a dollar. So the next four that I'm going to show you, I got for a buck. Or 25 cents each. These these other ones I got for a uh, for a dollar each. So starting with one of them that costs 25 cents and has a price tag of 355 um, is I believe the third film in the series and it's Scarecrow Gone Wild. I believe this is the third one. And this looks this looks weird. I mean it looks like a crappy movie. It stars Kim Shanrock, Shamrock <laughs> Ken Shamrock. 
Um, I think it's the third film to this one. Because this one was, I think, 2003. This one was 2004. So, what, a year later? That don't sound right. Maybe it's the second film. I don't know if it's the second or third film. But anyway, Scarecrow Gone Wild. The next one completes my series of the Feast movies because I own one in three. Here is Feast 2 Sloppy Seconds. Now, Feast 2 and 3, <clears throat> to me, are really bad films. The first Feast is fun. It's all-out fun. Even though it's a bad film, it's still a lot of fun. I think it's the best of the series. Feast 2 is strange. You got this midget running, or you got two midgets running around. You got just this weird stuff happening. Women who are naked, who are sitting there on the rooftop firing at the, the creatures. It's just strange. It's very, very weird. But, I mean, there is some cool effects. That's what I like about the Feast movies, that, that they do a lot of cool practical effects. So, this completes my Feast series collection. <clears throat> now, this one is part of the Return of the Living Dead series. In my opinion, I mean, there are five of them, Return of the Living Dead movies. But I consider them only to be three as a trilogy. I love Return of the Living Dead 1, Part 2, and Part 3, which I have on Vestron Video. Um, and they're releasing Part 2, I believe, Scream Factory, I think, uh, coming up soon, which I'm definitely going to be getting. I'm not sure if it's Scream Factory or if it's um, um, Arrow Video. I think it's Scream Factory. But um, anyway, I don't know if this is the fourth one or the fifth one, but it's... Return of the Living Dead, Rave to the Grave. This one I did not really care for as much. Uh, there are some cool things, cool zombie moments. The, um, the acting's really bad. But all in all, I think it's worth 25 cents. <laughs> you know, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, I want to say, better than some of these zombie flicks that I've seen. Uh, the effects are good. I, I do like the effects. But um, it's entertaining. I'm not really sure if this is the fourth or fifth one, like I said, but it does get me closer to collecting all five films. The last one I'm going to show you guys has a $4.99 price tag, and I got it for $0.25. Cents. And it's the widescreen version of one of my favorite Stephen King films, and that is Thinner. I want to get this on Blu-ray. I'm not sure if there's even a Blu-ray release of this. If there is, I'm definitely going to get it. Directed by Tom Holland, not Spider-Man Tom Holland. <laughs> uh, Michael McDowell did the screenplay based on characters by Stephen King. Um, you got, uh, let's see, Robert John Burke in this movie. Yeah, really cool movie. Um, I know my friend Thomas did, I think his top 10 or something like that, or his favorite Stephen King films. I'm definitely going to do a video showing you guys my favorite Stephen King adaptations. Because I got a lot of Stephen King films <clears throat> just laying around here. So I'm definitely going to be doing maybe my top 10 Stephen King films. But that's the last one. Alright guys, so... Um, there is my update. Um, Blu-rays and DVDs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely going to be doing more of these as uh, the weeks go by. I hope to, you know, get at least a handful of movies so that way I can make a make an update that's worthy of a video you know I don't just want to make a video where I pick up like two movies and just you know say here's an update I guess I could but I want to give you guys you know a lot of titles to look at so anyway guys uh, what did you think of some of these titles that I mentioned uh, let me know in the comments um, I like I said I'll be doing re individual reviews of some of these films after I watch them and uh, give you my full take on some of these new releases as well. Alright guys, 
Uh, I'll see you in the next one.